What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and layout tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna continue our series on modeling for layout and creating plans from our drawings inside of SketchUp. So if you're looking for more information on architectural modeling for SketchUp, we really break down this process in my SketchUp Essentials for Architecture course, which I will link to in the notes down below. So if you want some, uh, if you want some more in-depth step-by-step instruction, along with example files and other things that'll help you create plans from your SketchUp models, make sure to check that out at the link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so sometimes what you wanna do inside of your SketchUp models or inside of your layout documents is you wanna make things like your doors and windows a different line weight than everything else. And so you can see how right now, if we look at our floor plan level one, we don't really have a way to do that. So we could go into our styles and we could adjust the section line that this is creating where the section plane intersects with our model but the problem with that is that makes the line weight of everything the section plane is intersecting with um, thicker and that's not necessarily what we want what we want is we want one section of our model to have a different line weight than the rest and so the way that we're going to do that is we're actually going to create a different viewport with the line work that we have in here. So what we want is we wanna create a viewport with just our doors and windows on it that we're gonna stack on top of our other viewport inside of layout. And so the way that I'm going to do that, and the easiest way to do this, because you want to make sure that you have the exact same camera view on both of these, is to start with your floor plan level one view and then duplicate it. And so we're just going to right click, and we're just going to add a scene. And so what that's done is that's taken this scene and it's duplicated it with that exact same camera. Well, now we can edit this scene so that it shows what we want. And so this is one of the reasons why keeping our model organized has been so important because now what we want to do is we want to turn off everything that isn't the stuff that we want to have this thicker line weight. So I'm going to turn off my floor, my furniture, my stairs, my interior and exterior walls, literally everything except my doors and windows. And so what I have in here now is I now have a viewport showing my doors and windows. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rename this just so I can stay organized. I'm just gonna call this LW L1 for line work level one. You can either leave it right here or you can move it off to the side and group all of your line work drawings um, together. That's really kind of up to you. But what we wanna do in this, situ in this situation is we wanna take this view and we wanna make our line weight thicker. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we can either go into our styles on the right hand side and we can set, so we can go into the edit tab, click on the edge settings button and then add a thickness. So we could add a thickness of like two in here. We could do that this way or remember that this view still has that section plane active in here and it's cutting through our model. So it's basically giving us a section cut through all of our doors and windows in a straight up and down view. Well, we can take that and I forgot to save my visibility changes. So I'm gonna turn all this back off again. We can also go into our modeling settings and we can set our section line width on this view to be thicker. So we're gonna go ahead and set our section line width to maybe something like two or you could go to something like three. Notice how that makes this a lot thicker. And we wanna make sure, A, that we update our view right here. And it's gonna ask what we wanna do with our style changes, that's B. So we wanna go ahead and we wanna save this as a, as a new style because we want this to be our style for our thicker objects inside of SketchUp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the button for save as a new style and click on update scene. Well now, you can see how I can move back and forth between my floor plan and my line work right here. So this line work is gonna come in and we're just gonna stack it on a separate layer inside of a layout. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this model. And saving this is gonna be important because otherwise your changes aren't gonna show up inside of layout. So we're gonna start by saving our model. So now let's open up layout. So we're inside of layout right now, and I didn't talk too much about this. I talk a lot more about your organization, which is really important inside of the architectural modeling course. Um, but for this situation, what I wanna point you to is I wanna point you to the way that we've organized our layers. Remember that our layers stack on top of each other inside of, um, inside of layout. So right now we have a floor plan viewport, which is the view or the layer that our um, general floor plan is currently on. So you can see how we can toggle this on and off 
over here. Well, what I want to do is I want to duplicate that and then I want to bring in my doors and window layer on the floor plan line work layer. What that's going to do is that's going to stack on top of the layer that we have right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this layer that my floor plan viewport was on. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on copy. And then once I've done that, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and relock this layer and I want to select my floor plan line work layer. And I'm just going to go up to edit and I'm going to click on the button for paste to current layer. And so what that's going to do is that's going to take that viewport that we already had in here and it's going to paste it on that new layer. So we're now going to have a second viewport on top of our first viewport. And so one thing you want to make sure you don't do is don't click and drag this around because if you click and drag this around, what's going to happen is it's going to get really hard to align this, right? But what we have is we actually now have two viewports, right? We have a viewport down below, which is going to be the viewport with our floor plan. We've got the viewport up above, which is our viewport with our line work. And so what we want to do for this viewport is we want to right click on it and we want to go down to our scenes and we want to select the option that we have in here for our line work level one. And so when we do this, what this is going to do is this is going to bring in that line work layer and it's going to stack it on top of the other layer. So now if you look at this, you can see how our line work is darker than our line work on our other view. But there's a problem. And the problem is if we zoom in on this right now, you can see how it's not rendered very smoothly. And so that can cause a lot of problems, A, with your model not looking very good, and B, with uh, the snapping that you need in order to get the proper dimensions inside of here. And so what we want to do is we want to change the rendering style for this layer to vector instead of raster. And so I haven't gotten too far into this. There's basically three different kinds of rendering types. And what this does is this adjusts the way that these are displayed on your screen. This is a performance setting. So if you put everything in as a vector, what this is going to do is it's going to render your lines very smoothly. So you can see how as soon as I turn my line work layer to vector, these lines got really smooth. While these other ones, which are on the other viewport, are in here as raster. And so what raster does is raster is really good for rendering styles like colors and other things like that, but it's not very good at rendering smooth lines. And so usually for kind of your background, we'll have that in here as raster. So a lot of the time we'll bring our line work in as vector, everything else in as raster, just because um, performance wise vector rendering takes a lot longer and it doesn't render out things like textures. And there's also a third option in here for hybrid. And so what that does is that combines vector and raster, but it takes a long time to render. And so a lot of the time you don't want to use that any more than you have to because your performance inside of layout can get really slow. And so a lot of the time when people are struggling with layout, it's because they don't understand the difference between these three rendering styles. But you can see how what we've done now is we have our doors and our windows in here with a heavier line weight than the line weight that we have on our base floor plan in here. And you can actually adjust that too by adjusting your line scale. So if you wanted this to be even thicker, you could adjust this to like two point, one and a half point. You could also make it thinner as well. So by bringing our line work in on a different layer, you can see how what that does is that allows us to very quickly adjust line weights for anything on that layer. And then once we're done with this, make sure to lock your layer so that you can't accidentally move it around. So now what I have is I have a floor plan with my walls in here and I might bring my walls in on a line work layer as well and vector render those um, and then have everything else on a different layer. Um, we could mess around with that in the future. But right now, notice how we're able to use this in order to get heavier line work where we want it inside of our plans. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Like I said, I get a lot more in depth on this inside of the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture course. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.